hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i know these videos might feel a bit like not as well as well made as i used to because having a kid is it's just um it's forcing you to do things differently so now that she's napping i got this little time to film this video we are one month postpartum and how are we doing how how me and baby are doing so i am one month postpartum postpartum baby is one month old today and it's just crazy how it's just crazy how it's been a month since i gave birth and within this month i've learned so many things about myself about motherhood about things in general how to raise a baby because i didn't know anything about that before in this video i wanted to discuss a few things that i learned you know within this month and um, it's about postpartum recovery breastfeeding motherhood and um, baby blues so yeah these are the things I wanted to discuss today postpartum recovering and, and healing in general so it's been a month that I had my c-section and um, I'm feeling much much better uh, where I had the um, surgery is healing pretty well I haven't had any infection or anything which I'm happy but I can still feel the soreness it's not painful but I can still feel I can still feel the soreness and um, my abdominal muscles I feel a bit sensitive they are not quite there yet I feel like I don't I don't have strength in there I, I would love to start working out again but I feel like exercises like jumping running lifting weights and all that that would take some time for me to start doing those exercises but other than that it's healing pretty well what kind of symptoms do I have? I don't, I'm not losing my hair or anything like this yet, but I do feel lightheaded at, uh, at times, and I think that's because of the breastfeeding as well. It consumes a lot of energy for me, and um, yeah, and also bleeding, which I thought was going to be like, you know, I would be bleeding throughout my 40 days. Like heavy bleeding which that, that was not the case I was bleeding kind of the first week then it was just on and off and it's still on and off so there, there are I would go days without bleeding it's just you just have kind of a discharge I would say I know TMI but that's how it is and there are some days that I, I bleed I see how I have my period but it's not heavy or anything like this so um, it's not as bad when it comes to bleeding so so yeah when it comes to my recovery I'm recovering pretty well I'm looking forward to go on my doctor's appointment to see what he's gonna say and and all that but apart from that me and baby are good I don't want to get into much detail about baby and how she is and how her sleep is it's still too early for that she's still a newborn so you know it's hard for her to sleep at night I mean eight hours or six hours straight that is not the case she wake up every hour or every two hours every three hours on a good day to feed know that she loves she keeps feeding breastfeeding 
and she keeps crying a lot so that's that with the baby so yeah so when it comes to breastfeeding there are so many things I didn't know about breastfeeding and it's such an emotional journey and it's so weird that yeah I know breastfeeding is beautiful and you see this picture of a woman breastfeeding you think oh that's the best thing in the world but breastfeeding sorry but it flipping sucks there, there are days that I just cannot do it I, and I just hate it and I will admit it I can't I hate breastfeeding at times it's not it's not an easy thing to do I didn't know that the first day that when you give birth you still have crabs like you have contractions like real labor contractions and I used to have that the first four days so every time I was breastfeeding I would get contractions and that's the way and that's just your uterus shrinking to, to go back to its you know original size and go back to to its original state that's that's why you have those contractions but it is painful and you already feeling pain from the c-section your nipples are hurting and then you have that as well it's just too much but thank god it went away on after four days I think so yes it's just something I didn't know and it really surprised me and and you realize how nature is amazing you know I've questioned myself a lot with breastfeeding because there are times that I will breastfeed and after 10 minutes she still wants to breastfeed and I'm just questioning myself is she eating enough is let me just put the uh yeah is she eating enough is my milk milk supply enough for her should i start giving her formula for me formula uh, i can never spell that right i can never say right but yeah formula should i start here on that or what should i do should i start pumping should I, what should i do and there were days that it was it was just painful I don't know the way she's latching or I don't know it was just hurting me so much especially the first kind of first week to two weeks and then it got better and then again it started hurting me again and then I realized I got a more like a small little more on my you know my nipple and it was so painful every time she was latching but then at the end that more just fell off by itself it's just it's just weird but that's more more it was causing me so much pain and I was and I had to use nipple shield I was not really keen on using that but at the end I just forced myself to use it and I forced baby to the baby to like it which she did at the end but then God that more fell off and and now I feel better there's no pain and and yeah breastfeeding is going well it's just very exhausting having to you know breastfeed all the time and yeah especially throughout the night you are so tired you're so exhausted so now I'm just breastfeeding here while I'm lying down and it's much easier this way it's been an emotional roller coaster with the breastfeeding and it's mostly after six o'clock so after six in the morning she wakes up every hour every every hour to feed and it's just it just makes me wondering people are telling me oh give a formula during the night so, so she can sleep longer but I'm just trying to go as much as possible with just breastfeeding her because I know that's that's the best for her so yeah it's been emotional there are days i will be crying and you know like just wondering questioning am i doing the right thing what should i do so yeah breastfeeding is not easy even the position like holding the baby like this uh, my my i feel like the right position is not good and it's giving me 
is making me feel uncomfortable and you know so I'm, I'm trying as much as I can to sit up straight when I'm breastfeeding which is difficult but yeah I need to pay attention on that because I don't want to get any you know problem with my back and all that so yeah breastfeeding is I've heard women complaining about it and I thought how how bad would that be like how how come breastfeeding is so hard I see that it's just a I see it as this beautiful thing I don't think it's you know probably they're just exaggerating but no I've just realized why women are you know have this relationship with the breastfeeding and some women they don't even want to breastfeed but I feel like I think that we need to sacrifice a bit for our child and try and breastfeed as much as we can next thing I want to talk about is motherhood I think motherhood for me now is the simple things become hard to do so things like going to the grocery going going to buy groceries at the supermarket or using the loo having a shower all those things all those simple things are becoming a challenge because now you have a kid with you 24 7 and what what and if this kid is crying as well what are you gonna do she wants to be with you all the time so what I do when I go into the shower I make sure it's safe where I put her so I put her in her chair in the, the rocking chair and um, yeah I, I just leave it with me I just let her with me in the bathroom while I'm showering because there's no there's no other way to do things and I, I don't want other people judging me for doing that or anything like this but I'm sorry motherhood that's how it is you need to find solutions and that's my solution you know or having to do housework she, to do one task one task it would take me the whole day because she would be crying then I have to breastfeed then I need to change her then she will be crying again so it's a whole lot and I also use the, the, the sling that helps a lot as well um, yeah to have my hands free and do things around the house and also motherhood is another level of multitasking so I will be brushing my teeth and at the same time I'm gonna have to be rocking her while she's crying to make her calm down or you know having her in the sling and doing other things other chores in the house and all these kind of things going to the supermarket and having to carry her as well putting her in the push chair and all that yeah it's, it's another level of doing many things at the same time and also one thing you realize is that there's no there's nothing more important than your baby's happiness so I will keep feeding her all and all that and and I will leave myself last we will wake up at 10 I will feed her change her do all that and I will only have my breakfast at one o'clock she's your priority now that that's it is and when she's crying I get emotional is 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 really hurting me so so yeah your baby is your priority you you feel that you're not the important person anymore there's someone else that's more important than you it hits you hard and and yeah you just do the best you can to to make sure your baby is comfortable and is happy because especially when they are newborns you don't know what they want you know they, they the only thing they do they cry to express what they feel so figuring out what do they want is another it's another thing but you gotta do the best you can uh, needless to say sleep is not existent anymore like I don't remember the last time I got 
eight hours of sleep like straight eight hours of sleep there's nothing like that anymore and I'm someone like I love my sleep if I sleep I'm gonna sleep for long I don't really get take any naps but I can sleep throughout the night and uh, having to wake up every two three hours to feed her yeah not easy but you do it you know you just you just do it but we we mothers we need to try as much as we can to get as much sleep as possible because that can affect our mental state be the first week of my when I gave birth and I was not sleeping enough yeah it was making me feel much more emotional tearful and all that so so yeah try and sleep as much as you can I think she's crying let me go check on her so you see making this video it will take me a whole day because she keeps crying yeah so yeah talking about sleep and how it affects your mental state let's talk about baby blues because this is real you need to make sure that it doesn't affect you as much because that can become depression and that's you know that's a whole other story so yeah the first days when I came from the hospital you know feeling being in pain and and you know trying to adjust trying to feel comfortable trying to sleep and trying to care for a baby it definitely definitely it affects you and you always question yourself you always you know wonder am I doing things right am, am I giving her what she needs you always question yourself and you there are times you feel like a failure you feel like you're not doing you're not good enough so so it's hard and there were times I would just start crying and and about this breastfeeding thing I will be crying because of that I will be crying because the baby is crying it's, it's a lot of things therefore it's important to have someone to support you and especially with this you know lockdown thing and you can't even see your friends you can't see people there's not much support that you can get unless you have a caring husband which I'm very blessed to have and I'm very happy for that he will come and ask me how are you feeling today and all that you know so having someone asking you how are you feeling and how is your day been and all that they usually people all they care about is ask is to ask you about the baby which which is normal but sometimes they forget the mother they forget they forget to ask the mother how are you feeling how are you coping because it's not it's not easy you guys it's a blessing being a mother and I'm very I feel very blessed to be able to be a mother but it's a challenge as well so so yeah having a support system is very important and um, and yeah you will get through it though like baby blues it comes to go it's not always there so it, it, it gets better like you get used to your new routine you get used to the the fact that you're not gonna sleep again like you know how you used to but it's okay and I remember I specifically remember one night that for the love of God she will not sleep she was not she will be constantly crying and that is it can make you very irritable it can really irritate you and I was I was crying with her and I was you know you just 
you just ask him why are you why are you crying why are you crying you know it's not it's it's just you get to a breaking point at times So yeah, that night was the worst night that I had because my husband was at work as well and he was not able to, he would always support during the night but on that night he was not there and I had to deal with it myself and she kept crying and crying and it was so difficult for me but it gets better and I think it will get even more better than what it is right now. So yeah, that, that was, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And um, I hope I, you know, helped some women feel a bit better. We are all doing the best we can. Just remember not to to judge yourself too much just be positive you know you're doing the best you can it's you're doing you're doing well so just remember that and don't beat yourself up don't beat yourself up too much because I know you will beat, beat yourself up so so yeah that was the video for today and um, take it easy look after yourself have some nice food yeah I'm hungry now and <laughs> I'll see you next time bye bye